different autoimmune diseases tend to target different organs. If our immune system attacks the insulin-producing cells in our pancreas, we can end up with type 1 diabetes. If our immune system attacks our thyroid gland, we can end up with hypothyroidism. But in the autoimmune disease lupus, our immune system attacks the very nucleus of our cells, often producing antibodies and attacking our DNA itself, so it can damage any organ system and result in almost any complication. Women are nine times as likely to get it, and the peak age is too often at the peak of life. Hundreds of thousands, or even millions of Americans, suffer from this dreaded disease. One of the most common organ-threatening manifestations is kidney inflammation, occurring in as many as half of the patients. It's also one of the most serious, caused by the disease itself, or as a result of intense immunosuppressive drug toxicity. Chemo drugs like cytoxin, uh, cyclophosphamide, with severe life-threatening side effects that may include leukemia and bladder cancers. Many women lose their hair and become permanently infertile. Uh, there's a desperate need for better treatments. Oral supplementation of the spice turmeric decreases proteinuria, hematuria, and systolic blood pressure, the cardinal clinical manifestations in patients suffering from relapsing or refractory, meaning untreatable, lupus kidney inflammation, a randomized and double-blind placebo-controlled study. Here's the proteinuria data, an ominous prognostic sign, the spilling of protein into the urine. In the control group, three people got better, three people got worse, and the rest pretty much stayed the same. In the turmeric group, one got worse, one stayed the same, but the rest all got better. Note they said turmeric, the whole spice, not curcumin, which is an extracted component often given in pill form. They took women without a control lupus and just had them take like a quarter teaspoon of turmeric with each meal for three months. In my local supermarket, that would come out to be about a nickel a dose, compared to mm, $35,000 a year for one of the latest lupus drugs. Uh, which of the two treatments do you imagine doctors are more likely to be told about?